Man, so two more free Galaxy Opals. There's also another Diamond player being Corey Brewer, and these two Opals are actually two of the best ones we've got for free so far. Because yes, yeah, so you guys can see them here. It's a Louis Dampier, who I've never heard of before, a Diamond Corey Brewer who can play shooting guard, but then a Galaxy Opal, Dave Cowens. And sure, the name isn't too big, but if you guys remember last year in 2K19, he had a 98 overall pink diamond. It was one of the best cards in the game. And this one shouldn't be any different, but the way that we're able to get it is by playing Triple Threat online. So basically in this video, I'm going to play a couple of games of Triple Threat on camera just to give you guys some gameplay because I find it fun to show you guys sometimes. But I've also been playing Triple Threat for about probably six to seven hours trying to get these cards and I'll show you every single one of those boards a little bit later. Then I'll also open up my unopened packs that I obtained from that like six to seven hours I played. And that's pretty much it. Also, just quickly, every single one of my videos recently has been getting over a thousand likes. And I just want to thank you guys so much for that. So let's see if we can get 1,000 likes on this one at least. I believe in you all. Let's get to it. You guys can see the triple threat team I run. It's pretty fire. So yeah, this is the five ball drop game. Our first one of the two. So let's get to it. Let's get this done. And our opponent has a pretty big budget squad here, but let's see how we go. I also hardly play any of these games on camera. And fun fact, I actually turned my meter off for triple threat and it really does help out. So back out fun here and uh yeah we make our first shot i swear sometimes in triple threat though you just go against games where your opponent just doesn't miss and you miss every single shot look at the defense by glenn rice and defense again i love this glenn rice he's literally the best triple threat card him and d wade Thon's insane too. And I feel like the best thing about Thon is because he actually has center traits, like center and power forward. He can defend anyone. So yeah, definitely looks like so far we're going to walk away with the dub in this one. Kicking it back out to Thon. Literally all I do is just go hop steps, hope for the paint to collapse, and then we'll kick it back out for a wide open three usually as a two. And yeah, uh, we're definitely going to walk away with this dub. Let's just try and get another score with maybe D-Wade or I'm going to go for the three. I don't even care. Back out to D-Wade for a wide open one. Greens again. Back out to Glenn. Oh, that's a little bit too deep. But let's just, just tell all my word. I was just moving. It still went in. Yeah, Glenny boy, I see you again. We really only need two twos. It's the same, but let's just go inside. Hop step. Key back out to D-Wade. Take that to another green. And yeah, we're going to get this stop right here. Pull down that rebound with my boy Thonmaker. Kicking it to Glenn. Glenn in the corner. Three, two, one. It's a green. Let's go. And then all I do is just press start here and then go quit. And then it actually doesn't give you that showing of your MT after. It's a much better way to get through the games a lot quicker. There's a tip if you didn't know. Just make sure you wait until the game's over and don't actually say yes to quit. It will just allow you to just go straight to it. And it will usually say your opponent has left the match. But... Dropping the balls once again. Five ball drops and... <sighs> you you gotta love this game sometimes. You really gotta love this game. And yes, we got the best reward. 200 MT on this board. Oh, dude. And it took me like three minutes, but we finally finished this board and... It was trash, but at least we did get quite a bit of MT and tokens just from those spinny things. So now it's time to get into the final game with this squad. Let's hope the board is a little bit better and also we get the win. And the next opponent has a very good squad. So let's get this. Oh yeah, and you guys get to see my white uniforms that I created. I actually think they're kind of fire. Hey, all right. Anyway, missing the first shot. At least we get the rebound. Let's pump fake this one. We didn't even get the pump fake. Back out to Glenn Rice. Should be able to take a baseline. Glenn with the dunk. Because one thing I noticed with my purple uniforms, they were too dark for the home uniforms. So I decided to change them to a white. And it has like some sort of galaxy effect to it. I think they're kind of cool. I actually really like them. That's not a great shot. And for some reason, Thon didn't jump up for the board. So not looking too great so far. He's going to make that. But hey, at least on defense, we can easily see that we can get stops. And let's go to snatch back three here with D-Wade. Sometimes I just suck with the releases. Like I'll go some games where I shoot seven of seven from three and others where I like miss everything. And this is a bad game, but D-Wade's kind of carrying me. That's great defense. Finally, we get a stop. And I see Glenn. That's a terrible pass, but he's sagged. And that means we're going to miss the three, obviously. All right, we do get another stop though. D-Wade, you're not missing this one, are you? I, I need to work on my releases. Literally, all I need to do is probably hold it for like a millisecond later. That's that's it. That's it. And then we're good to go. Back out to Thon here. I actually didn't realize how much I would like Thon's release without a shot meter, but it is pretty fire. And that was a little bit of a delayed catch, but it still goes in. I'm getting lucky. But anyway, we are up four, and we do just need a couple more scores to be able to end this game off. So let's go down here, and then we're going to kick it out to Glenn. Please, can I finally green one? There we go. Five-point game, and all we need is five more points to end it off. So, snatch back. Let's make that two points. That's going to miss. But let's just go the tip in. Cool. One more three until this run is over. And I probably could have shot that one. Maybe not, though. Probably would have been a little bit contested. But let's just call a screen, even though I never call 
screen. No, it's time. It's time. D Wade, it's an early release. Oh my, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. But that's not a terrible shot, and that one's going to miss. Thon on the board, so absolutely killing it. Let's take a fading shot. Not great there either, and we're going to miss as well. I might need to focus up a bit more here because it is only a two point game, and we kind of need to win this one because the five ball droppers, you always want to win. And let's go down, let's kick it out, let's green this one, and oh my, what? I need a win. <laughs> Trust me, I play so much worse when I'm recording it. It's actually bad. I need to like, I need to change that up. I prefer to play badly when I don't record. Let's make that one. Finally, we do. We didn't green, but we win. And obviously, I'll just press start and then look at this. We're out and you get the win anyway. And now for the final board. Can we please see a Galaxy Opal? Let's... Okay, it's actually a really good board though. That's one of the best ones for tokens. So I'm not complaining at all. We didn't see a Galaxy Opal on this run, but... That's not bad at all. So I'm at 2,128 tokens. Let's see how many I'm on after these five ball drops. That one right there was literally the longest ball drop I've ever had. We weren't able to get the second 10 tokens, but we did get quite a bit of tokens anyway. Because what, we got 18 or something from that? But yeah, that was it for the live ones that you're going to see. Now it's time for me to get into all the boards that I had before. And I will go over these because some of them actually weren't too bad. So the first run wasn't too great, but we did actually get 5,000 MT at the end. And when you get that twice, that's at least 10,000 MT from one triple threat game. So it is very much worth. Then on our second run, things started to get a little bit better because we did actually get a diamond consumable pack on the board as well and that was pretty much it from this run but still a diamond consumable pack if you're able to get it twice that's like 30k mt so you guys will see all the runs i did i do just have screenshots of them so you guys can see them on screen right now next up though for our third run this is where it gets kind of cool because we also got a diamond consumable pack on this one so i knew it could have been a sign but then finally on our fifth ball drop let me show you this i got damn beyond on my boards. I got Dampier. I got Dampier. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So there it is. We just got Galaxy Opal, Louis Dampier. Yes, we actually got Galaxy Opal, Louis Dampier on the boards. And I was super hyped. We actually did end up getting him and I got him twice. So I had to discard him the second time. So I was very happy. We got the Galaxy Opal and then the next board up. Yeah, you guys won't believe it. We got Louis Dampier on the boards again. So I think I ended up getting him once here and quick sold him. He quick sold for 5,000 MT. So that's still a little bit of a bag right there. And then for the next run we went on, we did actually get quite a few packs and stuff which which i'm definitely happy with i'm not going to complain but i gotta say i am super happy we were actually able to get an opal through this whole grind i'm super surprised though we didn't get cory brewer that's kind of weird but yes here is the galaxy opal that we ended up getting and we also have a quick 14 unopened packs we only have one dime consumable because i only got it once and some of these packs are actually pretty nice so let's go to the gold consumable ones first this is going to be like a gold contract or something a nice shoe, yep. Next consumables pack, let's check it out. Okay, cool. Heat check base pack. Can we get a heat check player? A sapphire. This We, we can just quick sell this and this is at least 1,200 MT. That's the thing you got to remember is always go for the packs just because worst comes to worst, you can discard it all and end up making about 1,500 MT from every single pack. So the D Wade ones here, we're not going to get anything. Anderson Verigel, quick sell again. But like these shoes go for 250. That one goes for 200. Anderson Verigel for about 400 the logo for about 70 so this wasn't the greatest of packs but it's still quite a bit of mt i oh, know and it's some average out goes for 600 that's even better and this is why i always say triple threat online is definitely one of the best ways you can make mt by actually playing the game i know a lot of people recommend sniping i'm not the best at it as we get ray ray because another thing triple threat online gives you so many tokens as well and you don't really realize how many of them when you're racking up as we get shaft yeah pretty much all of my 2000 tokens have been from triple threat online which is kind of crazy it's just because once i go 12 and 0 I don't really like play unlimited that often as we do get Stefan Marbury. Multi-dimensional pack. This one really isn't good at all, but I think it guarantees a multi-dimensional player. There is a Ruby LeBron, but we're going to get the Emerald, which will go for nothing. But still, we'll quick sell Pat Connington and get 800 MT. Now it's time for the Prime John Stockton packs. John Stockton, I don't think goes for too much MT. Actually, he might now that he's got a dynamic duo, but... We didn't pull him in the first pack anyway. We get Jeff Horn to check. Next one up. Can we pull Johnny Boy in this pack? We do get an Amethyst, which definitely isn't too bad because as I said, worst comes to worst. This is a thousand MT we can quick sell. Is it going to be Trey Young or Power Forward? Maybe like 
Christian Leitner. Is that? A, yeah, I think it is. Yeah. I was so tired. Now it's time for the D Wade packs. Now, Pink Diamond D Wade actually still goes for quite a bit of MT because it is an insane card. So maybe we can get him on this next pack up. This is the one for Pink Diamond Dwayne Wade in a triple threat online pack. I've never really been super lucky in these and we do actually get an amethyst. So two amethysts in these pools, not too bad. Blue, uh, Pacers, I, Jermaine O'Neal, shooting guard. I cannot remember who, Lance Stevenson. Actually not a bad pull, let's get it. But now we've got these two packs left. The Legacy Showcase Series 1 Super Pack. We're pretty much like most of the time I open this, I get at least an amethyst. So this one up. Yeah, we're not that lucky this time. But now for the one that I'm sure all you guys have been waiting for, all you guys have been shaking, waiting what I'm going to get, and it's the Diamond Consumables pack. So this one could give a Diamond Contract, which isn't too bad, or a Diamond Shoe. So what is it going to be? Let's flip it, and it's a Diamond Contract. I'm not complaining at all about that. But yeah, these players expire on the boards on May 11th. So I mean, you only have about two more days to be able to do this, but it's not too bad. At least I brought out this video kind of quick, and I was able to show you guys how many boards it takes to actually try and get a Galaxy Opal. And I've seen a lot of people get both of the Galaxy Opals in one of their runs. So it is actually pretty common to get them. And I highly recommend if you have been 12 and 0, even if you haven't, to start doing Triple Threat Online, just because that's what I'm gonna continue to do because I really want Dave, because we were able to get Louie and it's not too bad, but I still want Cowards. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that like button if you did. As I said, if we can get 1,000 likes on this video, I'd appreciate it a lot. And that's pretty much all I gotta say. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.